In this video, we'll be looking at an application of higher order derivatives. We know that velocity is the rate of change of position. So our velocity function is the derivative of our position function. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So our acceleration function is the derivative of the velocity function. Therefore, acceleration is the first derivative of velocity and the second derivative of our position function. Let's look at a problem. Given our position function s of t is equal to 4t cubed minus 40t squared plus 50t plus 2 over the time interval from 0 to 10 seconds. Find the velocity and the acceleration functions as functions of time. Well, first, our velocity function is the first derivative of our position function. So we can find that easily using the power rule. We get 12 t squared minus 80 t plus 50. Our acceleration function is the derivative of our velocity function and therefore the second derivative of our position function. So it is 24t minus 80.